Hello everyone and thank you for tuning in to another Photoshop tutorial. Today I want to show you how to turn a regular old brown egg into a glass egg. And so we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I already have my three images that I used for this end product open up in another layer. And I just found these images on Google. This this image I just searched for eggs. This is a bubble and this is an egg yolk. For my canvas size, what am I using? 16, almost 17 inches by 14 inches for, for my canvas size. Um, I'm going to turn my top two layers off and zoom in on my eggs and show you what I did to to get this image started. I just use my quick selection tool and um, I, I want to mask out this top egg. So you don't have to be too careful around this top portion, but I'll show you what I mean here in a second. I'm going to hit Q oops, and my B key and then I'm going to fill this back in. Okay, and I'm going to zoom back out and hit Control Shift I and then bring up a layer mask for that layer and I just masked it out. Now I can go in and while this layer mask is selected, I can paint away the rest of the egg. And I'm just using a black brush to do that. Okay, and now that I have that, um, I think I'm going to create a new layer above that just so I can drag that up there when I need to um, because now I'm going to turn this layer on. This is my bubble and I want to drag my bubble up here and I want to select this bubble as well. So I guess I'll use my magic wand tool. That will probably look pretty good. Um, I'll select here. Just do it the old fashioned way with my brush. My caps locked down. That's always something that seems to get me is when I have my caps locked down, I try to widen my brush using my bracket key. Never works. So I want to use white and make sure my opacity is up to 100%. Kind of paint away in here. Hmm. And there's other selection tools that you probably have a preference over. You don't have to use these ones. It's just kind of what I'm used to. Okay. I'll make my brush bigger and get rid of all of this. I just want that bubble selected. Okay, now control shift I, just my bubble, and I'll copy that, make a new layer, and paste it, and then I'll hide this. Okay, now I'm going to drag my bubble up kind of over, 
over the eggs, I'll lower the opacity so I can see the egg. Control T, because I'm gonna adjust this. Adjust the sizing, and we'll get the sizing about the same size as the egg. There we go. Kind of line it up here. And it's almost starting to look like an egg. So you want to position this as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Remember that egg back there is actually hidden. Um, we can right click and even warp it a little bit. I drag dragging that side in, dragging this in, dragging this in. Let's check mark that and drag that layer mask back down. I don't really like this edge right here. It's just kind of getting me. So I'm gonna Redo it because my whole transformation disappeared there. Drag it back down to the size of the egg. Squeeze it in. Rotate. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good, actually. Um, on my first image, I did warp it a little bit, so I'm going to give that one more shot. Just to make this top edge come in a little bit more. Maybe bring this side in. This one in. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. And now with, with this egg, we want to make a layer mask. Brush tool, much smaller brush. And start painting away the bottom of the glass egg. So, it's looking pretty good so far. I think I'll get this edge up here too. It's because it kind of looks funky. And if I don't like it because I'm using a mask, I can get it back right away. Okay. Bump it down a little bit. V it down. There we go. Okay, next image is the egg yolk. So we're going to select that and drag it up. And we'll use quick selection to select all the yellow. I'm going to go around and smooth these edges out. You want to take a little bit more time than I am right now just to get it to look as as good as possible. I don't need this little bubble here. And just get it down here. Hey, 
hit Q again to get back to my marching ants. Control Shift I. Control Shift I. Oops, what's going on here? Oh, it is selected. It's just so large. Okay, and delete. Looks good. Control D. Um, this probably needs to be softened up a little bit. Maybe I should have feathered the edges. So let me do a step back here. Um, select. Modify. Let's go with expand by one pixel and delete so looks a little rough but that's okay I'm gonna control shift that rotate it and shrink it way down we're gonna start placing it within our glass egg I'm going to zoom in to see real close. Check mark and let's do multiply for our Oops. Go. And then I want to lower the opacity. You can place it wherever you think looks good. And zoom out and take a look. So my edges are a little jagged. I'm probably going to go in and fix that. But um, you see the concept. You just probably need to work on your edges a little bit more. Like I did in this first image. Um, one last thing that you can do is soften these edges by using your, not your smudge tool, but where is it? Dodge. There's dodge and burn tool here. Go ahead and use your dodge and, um, kind of lighten it in here because you don't have a brown egg sitting there anymore. You have a glass egg. So just kind of mess probably within the midtones and set your exposure wherever you think looks good. But that's how I made that image. I hope that you enjoyed this video and just give it a thumbs up. Uh, I know I went kind of quick and uh, it's probably not my best work, but you got kind of a cool concept out of it, hopefully. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.